lifetime of sun exposure caught up with Bob Davies. They've found different spots, on my, mostly on my arm and on my back. Bandages mark spots on his face and arm where a doctor removes something suspicious. He'll take a cut out of it and have it tested to see if it's uh, cancerous and or if it's just a basal cell. And I've got two spots, one here and one here, that he is in the process of testing. Basal cell carcinoma is the most common skin cancer. It's typically removed by a dermatologist, but some people have it much worse than Bob. The really bad ones are ones that come back after surgical excision can be quite disfiguring, close to the eye, close to the ear, close to the nose. Radiation was often used in advanced or problematic basal cell cancers until the FDA approved a new drug called Aravedg. Patients that have basal cell cancers in places where they're too large to remove move or they came back after radiation therapy or after surgery or ones that have metastasized are candidates for treatment with this new drug. Researchers are combating cancers by determining its biological pathway. If the pathway doesn't turn off like it should, cells and tumors grow. This new treatment inhibits or disrupts the pathway. With the most severe basal cell cancer you see over a short period of time, when you take away the fire that makes the cancer grow, what happens to the cancer, how nicely they heal up. So a victory against basal cell cancer may grow and spread to research for other life-threatening diseases. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.